All right, today we're gonna make some bagels. So our ingredients, we have regular bread flour and high gluten bread flour. We have malt powder, we have regular salt, some instant yeast, and then some 72 to 74 degree water. So we're gonna put this all into a mixer, starting with the water. And probably the hardest thing about making this dough is knowing when your mixer is working a little too hard and adjusting the mixing time. So I have all my ingredients in the bowl. This is also known as a straight dough method. And it's time to put it onto the mixer. And this is a two-part mixing process. I'm gonna mix it for four minutes on speed one and then another four minutes on speed two. So we've reached the end of the first four minute mixing period and I just want to show you what the dough looks like. It has come together pretty well but it still looks pretty shaggy. It's not very smooth like a bagel dough should be. But that's a good thing where we, we've adjusted the dough. I added about an extra teaspoon of water to this dough today because it's pretty dry out and that brought together quite nicely. So we're about halfway through the second four minutes on this mixing period and my mixer is working very hard. In fact, I can hear it starting to stagger a little bit in the motor. So here's a little trick you can try at home. Use a water bottle and just spray lightly on the inside of the bowl and start your mixer back up. And what that water does is let the dough slide a little bit easier. So the dough is finished. It's mixed for the total of eight minutes. We'll take it off the mixer. And compared to the first eight minutes, I now have a smoother dough. That gluten has had a chance to strengthen. And I'm gonna get ready now to portion and shape this dough. So we're gonna scale this dough at four ounces a piece for four ounce bagels. Come with a scraper, start portioning out. As I portion, I'm gonna keep this dough protected under either a plastic bag or some saran wrap. Because it is such a lean dough, it has a tendency to form a skin on it very quickly. So my dough has been portioned and it's time to roll this out. I just take the dough and begin to shape it into a cylinder. And the ends are still a little bit wide. And then I'm going to start working out the dough a little bit longer. And just gently stretching. Next thing I'm going to do is just put the one piece of that dough in the center of my hand, wrap it around. I'm going to overlap those ends. And onto the table. And roll back and forth. Create a nice little seam. I have a basic bagel shape. So here's our finished pan of bagels. And I'm gonna cover these with plastic in a plastic bag overnight. So our bagels have been in the refrigerator overnight. Here I have a water and honey mixture to poach off these bagels. So we'll start by dropping these in carefully. And we're gonna leave them in only for about 10 to 15 seconds. And when I dunk them, I'm laying them down on the side that I'm going to be selling them or presenting them with. And you can see the dough is already starting to rise. I'm going to put them onto a tray with a rack to let them drain. Okay, so we've poached off our bagels and while they're still wet, we're going to dip them in some seeds. Just going to drop those in. And then onto a sheet pan. So we have our bagels, they're ready to go into an oven, a 380 degree convection oven, nice and hot to get them nice and crispy. And off they go. So here we have our finished bagels. And it's important to let these brown up nicely in the oven. Don't pull them out too early, or else you'll have a doughy bagel. And to let them cool and keep that crispy texture, put them onto a cooling rack. So here are our fresh bagels, just in time for breakfast. If you're gonna toast these, let them cool completely so you can slice them, otherwise eat them fresh out of the oven. Chef's Menu is brought to you by the Culinary Studies Program at Estrella Mountain Community College. 
For today's recipe, please visit this address.